Hey guys, welcome to Bow Hunting Soul. All right, video two of uh, the series on uh, ropes and knots. Uh, again, I'm gonna do a legal disclaimer. Uh, I'm not an expert by any means, but um, if you have any questions about any of this stuff, you absolutely need to go and get advice from a professional. Go to like an REI, go to like a, a, a climbing, uh, you know, certified uh, place, person, what have you. But here is just kind of an idea of when you hear some terms regarding saddle hunting, which has gotten really popular. Um, it, you know, and like I said, I was new to it last year. These are the terms that you're going to want to hear. So uh, the first video we talked about was the figure eight on a bite. Now we're gonna talk about a stopper knot. And a stopper knot is really just a knot that, it, just like it sounds, you will tie this, it looks just like this, you will tie this knot at the end of your lineman belt, you will tie this knot as a backup knot to another knot, like the figure eight on a bite that is in the previous video. Um, also, two, two stopper knots are then gonna be used to make another knot where we will make a prusik. So, but we'll get to that one later. So I'm gonna to go to the tabletop and I'm gonna show you the stopper knot. All right guys, welcome back. So in our previous video, we did a figure eight on a bike. Today, we're gonna to learn how to do a stopper knot. A stopper knot, sorry, I'm bumping this camera here. A stopper knot is, I mean, this is a pretty, pretty darn secure knot, but a stopper knot will go on one end of this one. See so if you notice, I've got two tag ends here. Get it all in the camera frame here, okay. So pretend this is gonna be, let's say, like your tether that goes around the tree. So we don't need to worry about that one. But a stopper knot backs up this main knot so that it doesn't, uh, for some reason, slip or come loose. So for a stopper knot, here's what we're gonna do. Take your finger, go around, cross, come back under again, and through where your finger was. Oops. It should cinch just like that. It should look like an X on one side and parallel on the other. This is your stopper knot. Now ideally, this is a lot closer to this. So I'm gonna retie that for you guys. Now this can also go on the end of your uh, uh, line for if you're using a, um, a lineman belt and uh, you've got a rope man one on here, then you'd probably tie one close to the end over here so that the rope man doesn't slide off, okay? So again, this knot is called a stopper knot. It is used for backing up other knots. So again, we're gonna go one, cross, okay, so you're making that X, come back under again, and you're gonna go through the first hole that you made, or um, placeholder that you made with your finger, okay? So then this would actually be, again, it's kind of tough to do on camera, but this would actually be you know, a lot closer to here. You can have it like that too, but I would probably tie it a lot closer to here. So there you go, that is a stopper knot, okay? You absolutely need to have one of these things. If you're gonna be doing this kind of knot, um, some people don't run it. I do just for you know just for backup. I mean it doesn't hurt to have Because um, this end would get cut off This tag end would get cut off and this would be your tether So it doesn't hurt to have something like this nice and close so that this doesn't for some reason Slip through here and unravel this knot. So there you go stopper knot 